Hi everyone, welcome back to Jabara. It's Barb, and today we're doing a messy house clean with me. I hope y'all enjoy it. I hope it gets you motivated. We're gonna start here in the bedroom. It did take me two days to film this. It usually does, but I really wanted to get the room nice and tidy, and I needed to clean the carpets in here because they were looking absolutely horrible. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna wipe everything down and just get everything done in here, and then we'll move on to the bathroom over there, which needed to be tidied up. I didn't do a really deep clean in there but I did get it looking good um, so now I'm just putting the pillows on my bed and then I'm gonna go ahead and wipe a few things down with my Murphy oil soap over here on our nightstands these nightstands won't be here long I have an idea and I have some furniture out in the barn that I'm gonna be redoing soon so I can't wait for that but Anyway, I'm just going to wipe these off real quick using my Murphy oil soap mixed with water and I just like the way it cleans and it smells so, so refreshing. And then I'm going to show y'all today's sponsor, which is N10 Power. They sent me this nice little mini size travel power strip with USB ports. It has four outlets, three USB ports. Uh, ports portable short extension cord it is really cool these are really good if you're going to be traveling you can take this you know sometimes there's just not enough plugs by you if you have a lot of like electronics this has worked great i put it by my bed actually because i like to charge all my stuff at night i also have my earbuds right next to me and I like to put those on the charger as well. Um, so it worked out really nice having this right by my bed. Now I can have my lamp plugged in. I can have everything plugged in. And it's really nice, especially with the, I'll show y'all in a minute, the uh, way the cord is built to go to the side. So that way you can have something plugged into the wall as well if you need to. So there is, uh, it's a seven and one. It's for a nightstand or a table desk. Um, it's, a non-surge protector which is really good you know you need the uh, surge protectors and um, if it's right in the palm of your hand like I said it's great for travel for cruise ships hotels or at your house which is where mine will usually stay but if we do travel I'm definitely gonna take it as you can see I can plug all of my stuff in I still have room for more stuff if I wanted to use it for more stuff to plug in which like I said will be great when we travel because the kids all have iPads and tablets and my husband has his iPhone and his uh, his earphones and all that stuff so it's really cool to have and I will have it linked down below if y'all want to go and check it out um, and if you don't like it you can always return it but like I said I will have that down below and thank you in ton power for sponsoring that part of today's video so now I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff put away uh, the clothes are clean they're just in the baskets uh, the boys that whole basket over there in front of the mirror I'm gonna move it in, in a minute that is all stuff that I need to put away in the boys room and I haven't done that for weeks I I just I haven't done it um, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and get everything all picked up and cleaned up and it's usually just always clothes everywhere in our room I don't know how we do it but we go through so many clothes it could be because we take like two to three showers a day when you're in Texas like I posted this on my Instagram that I usually take about three showers a day I take a warm and then cold shower in the morning so it starts out warm and then it goes really cold and then uh, in the evening we'll usually take another shower when we're done doing whatever we're doing outside or whatever the case may be and then at night we take a hot one before we go to bed and the hot shower just like cools your insides and it makes you sleep better so anyway and the cold shower in the morning actually warms you up and gets you going so that's why we do that but I'm just gonna go ahead and tidy up the desk a little bit I really need to go through some of these notebooks I don't feel like I need all of them out here um, but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and clean all this off I am enjoying my new computer and the new software I have like, it's really good it's been going a lot more smooth with editing so I really have been enjoying that I'm using the spray away glass cleaner to clean the desk 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just throw on some more music for y'all and I'll talk to y'all every now and then I hope y'all enjoy this video like I said and I hope it gets you motivated I hope everybody's doing well and yeah all the things so I'm gonna go ahead and throw on a little music for y'all So now we are finally in the bathroom and I'm going to go ahead and tidy up in here a bit. I'm not going to do a deep clean like I said, but I'm just going to get this cleared off. So for my birthday my friend's mom gave me this secret minerals from the dead sea lotion and it is amazing i usually don't share things like this like just i don't know like i just really really love this stuff and um i've been using it every time i take a shower i put this on my face and my arms and my legs and i just love the way it feels there's something different about this lotion i'm obsessed with it and i will have it linked down below if y'all want to go check it out um yeah it's really good stuff so I'm just spraying my vinegar and water on the sinks today and then I actually just took a um, a bleach toilet bowl scrubber you know those uh, the refillable kind um, the reusable kind I just use that in the sinks and I do this sometimes the bleach really helps whiten it up and then you can just scrub it and I really like the way it makes the sinks look after it's all done so that's what I did on this day and then I just went ahead and took some um, wipes disinfectant wipes and wiped everything down afterwards and it looked really really good I like using these they are a little expensive um, but I just had a couple extra ones laying around because I haven't been using them much in the toilet anymore I've just been uh, using them for things like this but like I said the bleach just gives it a nice white pop in here and then you don't have to like spray stuff you know um, so that works well so anyway I'm just gonna wipe everything down now with some disinfectant wipes and I'm gonna throw some more music on for y'all I'm just gonna run the vacuum in here I'm really not gonna do a deep clean in here and then 
we will start out in the kitchen and the dining room and all that stuff and get the rest of the house clean. I hope y'all are enjoying this so far. I hope it's getting you motivated. So now we have all this part of the house cleaned up. This is the next day and we are going to start cleaning this kitchen and the dining room. It was completely destroyed. It usually always is. I can have it clean and the next day it looks just completely destroyed again. So this is just an ongoing thing in this house and I'm sure a lot of you can relate especially if you have big families. But anyway I'm going to go ahead and just unload the dishwasher and then we'll load it back up and then we'll wash and dry some dishes because I don't like things left on the counter when I'm cleaning and all that stuff. I am so excited. I've, t I've talked about it so many times, but I'm ready to start getting out my fall decor, but I have a list of things to do. We need to get the boys room done. We need to get the table done in the dining room. I would love to add an accent wall on in the dining room. I don't know if I'm going to have that in the budget or not, but I really want to do that. And I kind of want to just go see out in the barn because we have wood and stuff everywhere. We have all the tools. We could build a house if we needed to. So I know I might have some stuff out there maybe, and I would really just like to start working on the dining room a little bit, especially since the holidays are coming. I want to get all that stuff done. But uh, so I need to sit down and make a list of priorities and things I need to get done before I start bringing out all the fall stuff. It's crazy. It, it gets crazy here in the, during this time, guys. Uh, but I might just go ahead and put like stuff out slowly. I don't know. Just add touches here and there. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that yet. But anyway, I hope y'all are ready for it. And like I said in the last video, it's not that we're... Like, we just want to give y'all ideas when it comes to decor, when it comes to decorating stuff. I might actually go ahead and start the vlog channel, and that might be one of the videos on the vlog channel. So that way, we'll just be cleaning and prepping the house over here, getting it all super duper clean. And when I say super duper clean, I mean like the other day, like I said, I was looking at the baseboards and looking at the floor around the baseboards and I need to go through on my hands and knees and really get down to some cleaning in here need to clean all the cabinets need to clean the walls my husband was laughing at me because we had some spider webs forming in the living room and I was joking with him I was like this is what happens when I don't clean for a day <laughs> like the spider webs just formed overnight or something but I need to do a lot of deep cleaning I want to do that before I start decorating and like I said I might just do the decor and all that stuff over on the vlog channel so be looking for that I will definitely announce it for y'all I'll put it on the community tab I'll share it on Instagram so that way everybody knows that it's up and going but we'll probably start out over there like that um, doing some DIYs refinishing the table um, all the things over there so anyway yeah we're gonna go ahead and just keep cleaning in here it's not gonna take long I hope y'all are enjoying this I hope it's getting y'all motivated that's what we're here for just to motivate y'all and it's also like for me it's super relaxing to watch people clean their homes or you know all the things um, one of my friends Man Mandy she just put up an ASMR cleaning video and I have collabed with her in the past and I'm sure we'll collab again in the future but it it was so relaxing to watch that I love the ASMR cleaning and I was telling her on Instagram I cannot do that I've tried but the house is always loud like I am never not with my kids <laughs> And it's just crazy loud all the time, but maybe one day I'll be able to do something like that. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pick everything up. And to clean the counters today, I'm just going to be using some vinegar spray with my, my rag. I 
like I said before, I've been loving it. I am totally going back to just vinegar and water cleaning my counters because it just, it cleans it well. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hand wash these dishes that didn't fit in the dishwasher, that don't go in the dishwasher, and we'll get this place all cleaned up. And I hope y'all stay for the afters. <music> around me i've been putting on my fake smile even though i'm wasting time i don't want to be trapped in a box trying to be like the rest when i'm not i just want to go my own way gonna let the past burn down cause honestly don't want to be stuck in more conversations with you with you i'm gonna As I said, I'm just going to go ahead and use the vinegar and water to clean off the countertops in here. And if you're new here or you haven't heard me say it a million times, I just love the way vinegar cleans because it doesn't leave a residue like other cleaning products do. I was just in the washroom right now and I need to clean my washer and dryer so, so bad. So I'll be doing that hopefully later today. Um, yeah it's horrible in there and it usually gets horrible in there too because it's just like a catch-all place in this house so i need to go in there and organize that a little bit and i definitely need to clean the washer and dryer because it is disgusting i need to get that done there's just so many different things i need to get done but i'm always trying to catch up and it just doesn't seem to happen uh <laughs> And I guess that's just life with kids and a husband and doing all the things. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep on cleaning in here. I'm going to load this up. This video was actually, I believe it was filmed before the birthday party. I, I would assume so because the fridge was in there. Uh, that happens a lot too. I sometimes get my videos out of order or they're just all over the place. But I'm just here to bring y'all cleaning motivation and all the things. I am going to fold these kitchen towels really quick and I'm one of those if I get a cleaning if I get a kitchen towel for a holiday I'll usually just use it all year because 
that's what I do. Usually by the time the holiday passes, it's already been used. So I usually just buy new ones the next year. Um, I haven't been on the lookout for any of the fall ones, but I need to go see if they have any more of those anywhere. I'm sure they do. I went to the Dollar Tree. I think I told y'all this and they have so many cute fall decor items. Oh my goodness. I was... I could have, I, I told my husband, I came out and I spent like 30 bucks and I told him I easily could have dropped a hundred dollars in there, like just on fall stuff. And he was like, well, I'm glad you didn't, <laughs> but I sure could have if I would have had it. Like sometimes I have to like, keep in mind there's more important. And honestly, I'm over here buying this stuff and I'm like, you have so much already. Like I have just crates and crates full of decor, but it's like, I just like to, you know, get a few new things every year and that's how it accumulates. And hopefully one day, you know, maybe I'll have a huge house and I'm not saying that like, I love our little house. I love our little house, but of course it's a double wide. I have three kids. I've explained this before too. It's a beautiful double wide. We are so, so blessed with this thing, but yeah, it is scary when you live on, on the, coast and and you get a hurricane and it's it's traumatizing just about like the one hurricane that we had living in this house we ended up staying and the next day I woke up sore from being terrified like just terrified and sure enough a tornado had came like right by us and took off one of our neighbor's roofs and I was just thinking if it would have just been you know a little bit over it would have came over my house and it you know, when you have babies, that's all you're ever thinking about. And in Texas, there is no safe zone when it comes to tornadoes. <laughs> you don't get your cellars or anything. You can't even get permits usually to build underground things. So it's just, it's one of those things. Me and my husband have always wanted a cellar um, or something to go in underground for uh, crazy weather like that that we get in Texas. But they, it's really hard to do here. Uh, usually the, the county and stuff won't permit you to do things like that, but we've always wanted to be underground, um, just away from the elements because it, it's terrifying. And I've always been terrified of the weather. There's just, we're so tiny. We're like little specks of nothing when it comes to the weather. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just crazy, but yeah, I love my house though. Don't get me wrong. Like I love, I'm so blessed with this house. We are cozy. It's enough room for all of us. Like it's just, we are so blessed and we have so much more than so many others. And a lot of people would look at this house and think that we, we don't have a lot. It's just comparatively speaking, you know, like there are people who have way more, there are people who have way less, but I just feel like it's what you make of it. And like, you know, my dad used to always tell me, you, you, you can be poor, just don't be dirty. <laughs> and that always stuck with me. And I think it also, like, I have a brother who's also a, just a very clean person, like super duper clean. And it's just how we are. Um, but I do, I get lazy and I just sit on the couch and look at the mess and I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm not doing it. I'm not today. Um. But most of the time, I, it's so, it's just peaceful to have a clean home, an organized home. It's so peaceful. It gives me peace of mind when I get it all clean like this and I walk through it and I'm like, just so happy and content because everything's where it needs to be. And it makes me so, it makes me even more grateful for everything that we have when, you know, when it's all put together and it's how I want it to look like, it's just, it's my little piece of heaven out here on the ranch. And I'm just, I'm like I said, so, so blessed, so blessed to have it. Um, but yeah, eventually one day, yes, I would like a st sturdier, <laughs> a big sturdy house. Um, I'm really into ranch style homes or like farmhouses, the old school look. But my husband is dead set on a silo or a round home. So I'll have to see how that's going to play out when we go to design our next home. Uh, I don't know how it will look, <laughs> but we have two totally different ideas and um, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and use my steam mop on the floor now. I have this link down below. I'm going to try to link the Bissell carpet cleaner, all that stuff down below. And if it's not linked separately, it will be in my Amazon store, which I always link below. And that is a like 
I do get a small commission if you click on there and you buy something it's just a little tiny commission but I always like to let y'all know before y'all go clicking on stuff but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and I hope y'all enjoyed the video I hope it got you motivated the boys are getting riled up so I'm gonna go ahead and hop off of here I love you all take care of each other I will see y'all in the next one bye guys hello how'd you do I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time To do everything you said you would Frames of the past and The memory of you just come running by Pictures of sunny days With your smile and the bar How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken?